Hello everyone, welcome back to another game in our speedrun series. So, today we get the move pawn to d4. We haven't actually, I don't think, had many proper King's Indian defenses yet. So this might even be our first one in this series. So the start of the King's Indian defense is when our opponent puts all three pawns in the center with d4, c4, and e4. Now, a lot of people play the move pawn to d6 here, but it's actually very very useful to just castle first before you play d6 because actually e5 is not a big threat because we can actually challenge the center after we move our knight back to e8. Now our opponent's gone for pawn to h3, bishop e3 which is a line called the Makagonov which is actually what I play from the wide side. It's one of the most annoying setups to face from the black side so this is a very, very, just annoying variation in general. The idea is that it's sort of improving on other variations where white plays knight e3, and eventually white's going to play the move pawn to g4 in a lot of these setups. Black has a couple of options that we can go c5 and so on, but to keep things consistent, I'm going to play e5 in pretty much all these positions. And I'm going to get into this sort of pawn structure in the King's Indian with these pawns in the center. And I'm going to play a very standard plan in a lot of positions where you maneuver the knight into the c5 square. So you'll see me doing this quite a lot. And from there we have uh, a couple of different plans to continue with after that. But I'm going to start out with the move knight to c5. So this is very standard, bringing the knight into the c5 square. So we're attacking this pawn. We forced white to play h3. Now h3 is not really a move you want to play in these positions if you've already committed the pawn to uh, h3. So you know not want to play f3, I mean, because you weaken um, the dark squares a bit too much here. As black, most often your goal is going to be to play this move pawn to f5. I would like to play a5 here to stop b4, which is a common idea to secure your knight, but then I think white will play the move pawn to g4. So in order to sort of get my knight to a good square right away, I'm just going to play the knight into this square. I'm threatening to play knight into g3 perhaps. I'm also preparing to play this move pawn to f5. So here I would expect my opponent to play the move knight to e2. This is a very standard way of playing this position as white. And already there's a couple of interesting ideas which are uh, starting to pop up. For example, one idea is to sacrifice a pawn with knight to f4, which if our opponent lets us, this, um, this can be very, very strong. Um, another idea is, apart from f5, is to sometimes bring this bishop to f6 and then swing across to either g5 or to h4. So this queen f2 move, so our opponent is putting pressure on this knight on c5, but I don't think you actually want to give up the bishop for the knight, because if you trade off this bishop for the knight, then you leave a lot of dark square weaknesses all over the place. So as black here, you want to play actively. You don't want to put too much focus on this so pawn. It doesn't really matter. You just want to get your moves in, which is f5. Open up the position as quickly as you possibly can. Okay, now g4. So I believe that is a loss of a pawn, so we can actually capture that with pawn takes, pawn takes, and then bishop takes g4 because our rook is lined up. 
on this open file so we can actually do that but do we have any better moves we also have maybe takes and then knight to f4 and then we threaten ideas with knight to d3 because with a knight f4 we can perhaps fork the king and queen here so that's another idea we could also just play knight f4 straight away that's also an idea so we have a lot of ideas in this position we even have this move knight to g3 which looks a little bit funny but the idea is that if white captures then we can play this move pawn to f4 and then we actually will recapture the bishop and win this dark squid bishop which I, I said is a very important piece in a lot of these positions but at the moment I'm thinking I just capture the pawn because I don't see why not I'm just going to capture here so bishop takes g4 on oh, 9f4 like I said it looks very very tempting but I don't see why we can't just take here and okay our opponent just resigned okay so if we move to the analysis let's see so typically what would happen in this position is that the idea of the Makagonov is white to play the move pawn to g4 first and it's one of the most annoying variations to play against as black because it's the only one which sort of targets your f5 move and in a lot of positions you can't play this f5 move without having to open up your king or come under some sort of direct attack on the king side so it's a very challenging variation to play against and after the move knight to c5 white can play the move pawn to f3 I think our opponent here just mixed up the move order and sort of got it um, incorrect and this allowed us to get our knight to h5 and bring it into a much better square but we shouldn't be able to get the knight to h5 if white plays it correctly so after g4 and pawn to f3 from here white can continue pawn a uh, queen to d2 and maybe start pushing the h pawn uh, if he would like to do that or even maneuver let's say the knight into g3 square so that would be a much better way of playing it but after queen to d2 knight to c5 pawn to f3 now we take our opportunity to bring the knight to h5 and queen f2 is a bit too slow but even if let's say black plays white plays um, g4 here we have the option of playing knight to g3 but most likely I will play the move knight to f4 which is a very um, important um, idea to keep in mind where you sort of sacrifice a pawn so we can sacrifice the pawn here but in return we get huge compensation and huge initiative for our pieces like our bishop is just an absolute monster on this diagonal our knight's fantastic and we can just break open the center straight away with f5 and we see white's in a lot of trouble it's just not developed at all and black's pieces are fantastically placed here for the attack so i was expecting maybe 92 instead and then after the move f5 maybe now uh white can go for the move point to g4 but again I mean I can also play this sacrifice, I can go knight to f4, offer this um, pawn, for example if captures, captures, even here like if white goes for the capture we can just take on e4 and we get more than sufficient compensation here, I mean the queen will come to e7, we have queen h4 check in a lot of positions and it's just a, a fantastic position for black. So. Queen f2 but after the f5 here takes takes I think our opponent just realized that well there's not any counterplay left on the king side for white and black has a very very pleasant position so I hope you enjoyed this um, quick game in the king's indian and I look forward to more games in the um, continuation of the speedrun catch you guys later mm -hmm.